Let's do it. Hey, everybody. I'm trying to th I'm trying to think of where we are in this game. We're Zora's domain. We're about to fight. We want to go into a dungeon. I'm very tired. Uh, I got home. I took a long walk with Jess today, and I got home, and I was just like ready to sleep. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, maybe I'll wake up as we continue. But we are at Zora's domain. Uh, last time we made a long trek. Uh, let's bring up the map. Uh, we walked a pretty great distance. We glided a pretty great distance. All throughout here. We saw our uh, wonderful uh, sexy fish. And, oh, here's Hi Jess, way over here. So it was quite a journey. Quite spectacular, if I do say so myself. But here we are at Zora's Domain. We've been tasked with helping them deal with this uh, little bit of a rain problem. So let's see what we can do for them. Nice. It's my goal to look like this dude when I grow up. I mean, I'm an adult, but when I'm older. When I'm a distinguished gentleman like this fellow. Ah, you must be the Hylian that Sidon brought here, correct? You did well to come all the way here. I'm King Dorophon, ruler of the Zora. Hmm? That object at your waist. Is that not a Sheikah slate? Hmm? Now I have gotten now that I have gotten a good look at you, it is all too clear who you are. You are the Hylian champion Link! Do not tell me you have forgotten me. The Hylian champion? You can't mean the Link, that champion? So that's where I've heard your name before. What a fateful coincidence that we should cross paths. I cannot believe it. The Hylian champion, Link, has appeared before us. We have met numerous times. I have you, I'll have you know. Ah, so many memories. My mind is overflowing with nostalgia, my friend. I have heard a terrible rumor that you had fallen in combat, but it appears you managed to survive. Extraordinary. Bro, I've lost my memory, man. Come again? You say you've lost your memory? But surely you must remember my precious daughter Mifa, yes? You do, do you not? Mm. Who? I cannot believe it. Have you truly forgotten my dear Mifa as well? You and Mifa were so close, yet you do not remember her. Young hero, please look upon the beauty of Zora's domain. Do you see that statue? Does gazing upon Mipha's immortalized form still not jog your memory? Well, perhaps your memory will return in time. I dearly hope so. Father, I do not believe discussing my sister is helping matters at the moment. Link seems confused. I am confused. I'm always confused. I'm in a perpetual state of confusion over here. Oh, yes, of course. But first, it is worth noting how remarkable it is that Sidon brought a champion without here without realizing it. This is quite a feat, my boy. <laughs> that is a good one. Link, I doubt not that you have endured a great many trials. Still, I must ask you to hear my plea. Now then, hero, I must inform you that Zora's domain is in danger of vanishing because of divine beast Varuta. I shall do you the courtesy of speaking bluntly. We alone cannot stop this beast. Will you lend us your strength? What? King Dorothon, my liege, please do not speak so. To ask a Hylian for help. Why, the very thought of it curls my fins. Muzu, I expected more of you. How can you still protest? Muzu, it is rude to speak that way to your king and his guest. Link is here because I invited him. With such unprecedented rainfall, we have no choice but to rely on the aid of a trustworthy Hylian. Have we not already discussed this and arrived at that very conclusion? He is the key to saving Zora's domain. I have no doubt in my mind. 
Indeed, Link is a champion through and through. As things now stand, Zora's domain, nay, perhaps all of Hyrule, is doomed to be swallowed by the sea. This is bigger than all of us, my friend. Zora and Hylians alike must put aside our differences and band together. I wish that I knew that Zoras and Hylians weren't like at on good terms for some reason where we have our differences. I mean, maybe they're just talking about that one's a fish species and one's a human species, but yeah, who knows. Have you forgotten already, my king? We cannot trust these lowly Hylians. A hundred years ago, they abused the power of an ancient civilization and turned Hyrule into what it is today. And I'm just eating my words now. This is good. And that is not the least of it. He's a stingray. <laughs> it is their fault that Lady Mifa was lost to us. Link. Divine Beast Varuta has great power. It has the ability to create an endless supply of water. Of late, it has been mercilessly sprouting water into the air. As a result, this area has been plagued by heavy rains. For Asura, water and air are as one. So, would you not think this would be quite a, uh, so you would not think this would be quite so critical of a problem? Sadly, the rains have filled the eastern reservoir nearly to the point of flooding. If the reservoir bursts, as it soon will, I fear, I fear immense damage will befall not only Zora's domain, but also the area downstream of us. There, Hylian lives are in very grave danger. <gasps> What's that? Hmm. The Divine Beast is crying out once again. This dude's awesome. Aquatic elephants. I'm into that sort of thing. The Divine Feast, Beast Varuta. Your princess, Zelda, often studied the Divine Beasts, that is, in the time before the Great Calamity. According to her research, the orbs located on, Va on Ruta's shoulders are mechanisms that can control the water it generates. However, they require electricity to work. These orbs are clearly out of control. Uh, and out of control now because there is no electricity coursing through to stop them. Sagan, who is quite <clears throat> uh, sh quite shock resistant for Azora, one hit one hit with an arrow. Sure enough, hit one with an arrow. I can read. I'm good. I'm good. Sure enough, it slowed the water a bit. Unfortunately, as an aquatic race, we Zora are terribly vulnerable to the power of electricity. Perhaps because we could not safely strike it with enough electricity at once, the water soon returned to its full force. That is why I went in search of a Hylian who could help us. Link, I am certain you have already figured this out, but we need you to use shock arrows to get those orbs working properly again. I will aid you in any way I can, of course. Please, hero, I beg of you. Help me stop Ruta's rampage of destruction. I can't... I, um... What? Princess Zelda herself instructed you to reward the Divine Beast and appease it from within? So then, Princess Zelda is still alive? Yeah. I do not believe it. She was alive this whole time, just as you were. The events of 100 years ago cannot be altered, that is true. But we can regain if we can regain control of the Divine Beasts, we may yet prove useful in sealing Calamity Ganon once and for all. I did not know you had such grand ambitions, Link. Wondrous. Naturally, I shall help too. Once it has stopped rampaging, you can easily climb inside it. Come, Link. Let us appease Ruta together. Let's do it. I'm up with working with Fishman. Thank you, Link. Truly, we are in your debt. Our goal is the same. That means our meeting was nothing short of destiny. Now then, allow me to offer you this gift as a show of faith. Ba -da -ba -ba. Got me some Zora's armor. As long as you wear this, you can ascend waterfalls, just like Azora. 
Please take good care of it. King Dorothan! Surely you did not intend, really intend to give this outsider the Zora armor. Countless generations of Zora princesses have gifted that armor to the one they have sworn to marry. Princess Mifa made this one here with her own hands. It is far too important to entrust to a shady Hylian. He may be a champion, but Mifa had no such relationships with him. So why should he receive such an honor? This is too much, my liege. I do not understand it one bit. Hmm. That Muzu is not easily swayed once his mind is set. You must understand, he was in charge of educating my dear daughter Mifa. Naturally, she means a lot to him, just as she means the world to us. Ever since we lost her to the Calamity, he has grown to despise Hylians. I hope you can forgive his rudeness. No, I hate him. Hmm, but what shall we do now? I tasked Muzu with finding the shock arrows we will need to appease Varuta. But now he has rushed off in a huff. Link, do not let his words concern you. I shall work this out with Muzu. I shall return shortly. Goodbye, hot stuff. Sidon, I suppose that means you are going to tell him. Tell him what? Link, Muzu is most likely at the square down below. Would you mind going down there? I would like you to try to speak with him. Okay. Let's put on that awesome armor, though, right? I mean, what are these? Okay, controls. Oh, I'm awesome now. Look at me, ready for swimming, ready for swimming, ready for swimming. Mm -hmm. I have no stamina. It's me! It's Link! <clears throat> you came all the way here, but it was in vain. I have no desire to speak with you. Listen well, Muzu. There is something you need to know. He who stands here, the man called Link, is the one whom my sister Mifa had feelings for. <laughs> We're getting into it. I was only a child then, so I did not know it myself at the time, but it is so. I grew up hearing my father tell stories, some of which were about my sister's undying love for a Hylian named Link. What? No! <laughs> you cannot fool me with such a fanciful lie. Not this, Zora! How could Lady Mifa possibly have feelings for a Hylian like him? The facts are clear. He remembers nothing, even when he looks upon Princess Mifa's statue. It is the truth, Muzu. Though you have never knew it, he was ever in Mifa's heart. Convenient memory. I was thinking, this reminds me of the time we first met. You were just a reckless child. Always getting yourself hurt at every turn. Every time, I would heal you, just as I'm doing right now. I thought it was funny how, being a Hylian, you looked grown up so much faster than I did. I was... I was always willing to heal your wounds. Even back then. So if this Calamity Ganon does in fact return, what can we really do? We just don't seem to know much about what we'll be up against. But know this, that no matter how difficult this battle might get, if you, if anyone ever tries to do you harm, then I will heal you. 
No matter when or how bad the wound, I hope you know that I will always protect you. Once this whole thing is over, maybe things can go back to how they used to be when we were young. You know, perhaps we could spend some time together. Lincoln Fish Waifu confirmed. I conveniently remember, for the sake of plot. What is the matter, Link? Are you unwell? Hmm? You are quivering like a hatchling. Whatever is the matter? I remember. What? Do not mistake me for a fool, Hylian. There is no way to remember her just now, when it is most convenient. In any case, without any solid proof, I cannot possibly take you at your word. If you have if you have any such proof, now is the time to show it. Do so, and and, and I I shall tell you how I was going to get those how to get those shock arrows. Yes, as well as anything else you wish to know. Have you truly not figured it out yet? Simply take a closer look at what Link is wearing. Hmm? Do you really think changing your clothes is going to make me... Eh? What in the... That is the Zora armor from before. Lady Mifa... Lady Mifa made that by hand, and yet it fits you perfectly. What is the meaning of this? Now you understand, do you not? Now you know who her heart belonged to and who she made this special armor for. In fact, is in fact that the fact that this armor fits Link perfectly should be proof enough that Mifa made it for him and him alone. You have always disliked Hylians, even before the Great Calamity. That is why Mifa never told you. Now that you know, you must promise to help him save us all, Muzu. Please, tell us where we can find the shock arrows we need. Knowing you, I bet you have already figured it out. <laughs> I never would have imagined she would make that special armor for one such as he. Uh. I do not approve of asking for help from a Hylian, but I suppose it is our only hope at option at this point. I am a proud Zora. That means I must take responsibility for my unwarranted behavior toward you. As promised, I shall tell you where you can collect as many shock arrows as you will need. That tall mountain over yonder, it is called Polymus Mountain, and there you shall find Shatterback Point. A terrifying creature has made its home up there. This awful beat shoots volley after volley of shock arrows. Even a single one could be fatal to Azora. Aha! You must mean that Lionel. He is a man-beast, that one. That beast does not indeed wield shock arrows. That is certainly one way to collect them quickly. He's vicious, to be sure, but I'm certain Link will rise to the challenge. In order to appease the divine beast, I estimate you will need mm, at, at least 20 shock arrows. Do you think you can gather that many? Why do you still doubt him, Muzu? I have no doubt he will be triumphant. Thanks for volunteering me, guys. What if I said no? Okay, Link, let's get moving. The fastest way to Polymus Mountain is to ascend the waterfall east of the domain. That Zora armor should come in handy. Just swim to the waterfall basin and go up the waterfall from there. I'll wait at Eastern e East Reservoir Lake, right by the Divine Beast. Gather at least 20 shock arrows and come join me. You got it, bud. Wonderful. Together we shall stop that Divine Beast's onslaught. Got to go deal with Mr. Lionel. Hey, kids. Coming through. Alright. Uh, hey. I want to get over here. Hello! 
You were killing yourself on that shock arrow. I saved you. Reward me. I wish we had better weapons. We have a lot of bows. We don't have a lot of arrows, though. Alright. The waterfall. Here we go. You're lucky, Fox. I'll let you live today. And here we are. Time to collect some shock arrows. They're basically on, like, every tree. And then, if you want, you can fight him, the Lionel, and get more. I don't think that's necessarily a good idea, though. Lionel is, uh, not the nicest of folks. But he does provide plenty of shock arrows. Um, he'll also honestly kick my ass if we engage him. So, let's not do that. Lionel! Lionel Richie! Gotta be sneaky. Uh oh. Uh oh. Don't let him see us. Slide down. Creeping around. Being stealthy, avoiding the avoiding the Lionel. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. And I almost died. And I died. Oh Lionel. Lionel, why? Lionel, I just want some of them arrows. Why you gotta be like that, Lionel? We're probably going to start from behind the rock after the cutscene. Hmm. Death number one. Oh, oh god. Are we... No cutscene? Yes cutscene? What are we up to? Uh, you're going that way, so I'm going to go...
<laughs> I'm so terrified right now. Nothing here, Lionel. Oh god, 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 oh god. No, 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 no. Uh, don't climb up the rock. Okay. Okay, we're good. Uh, uh oh, he heard me. He's coming back. I go over here. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. Lionel, please get out of here. All right. I think I think he's gone. I think he's going to hang out over there for a while. Awesome. So we can get some arrows. Still got to be a little stealthy. Don't want to get wrecked by a Lionel. How many arrows have we got? We got 11. Alright. Well, there's a bunch right here. All about them arrows. Is that four? That's four! It's gonna be twenty! Whoa, look at that! Shooting star! That's not so far. It's right down there. Jump at your own risk! Don't think I will! So let's make sure I have. I do have twenty. Okay. Hey, buddy. Huh. Glad to see you're ready to go, Link. Hmm. Are you ready for this? Do you have your Zora armor and enough shock arrows? Uh -huh. Let's do it. Wonderful! You, can, you never cease to amaze, Link. Now then, let us go and appease that divine beast as one. As one. Hmm. Here we go! Woohoo! Sploosh! Hmm. Gaze now upon the divine beast's back. You see those glowing pink orbs? You will need to shoot each of them with a shock arrow. With your Zora armor, you may now ascend you now have the ability to ascend waterfalls. So I shall take you right up to the side of the Divine Beast. From there, you can swim up and take aim. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now hurry up and get on my back. I'm ready. Ready, buddy. Good answer. Let's get going. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I am unstoppable in the water. Ruta is responding to our presence. I'll move away and wait for an opening before we approach. I'll keep going at full speed. It's up to you to ward off Ruta's attacks. Are you ready? Divine Beast Ruta will undoubtedly use his ancient and mysterious powers against us. That includes hurling giant ice blocks that we'll need to watch out for. I shall leave those to you. Can we get rid of that ice? Get 
those shotguns. Here we go. Now, I don't have that many arrows, bro. Let's use, I guess, use whatever little arrows I got left. Number two. Can I do two at a time? Don't think so. No. Oh, really? Any shot? It's this one. Yep. Let's go. Oh, jeez. Now, what can I... Can I use anything else here? Because that's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going to use all my arrows. Hmm. Can I use this? No. So, <laughs> am I just screwed? Let's see here. Oh, well, I just wasted another shock arrow. Uh... Hmm. Can I use... That's interesting. What's that gonna do for me? Can I... So it resets if I... I don't think I have enough arrows. I might have to reset this and do it again. Maybe not. Aha! Haha, <laughs> I've been wasting arrows. Shock arrows ready. Perfect. Done. Wow, that was astounding! An absolute thrill! Huh. Link, look! The water spouting from Ruta has slowed down. By slowed down, you mean stopped. Ruta is floating higher now. You wanted to venture inside it, right? I'll bring you closer. We're counting on you, hero. Do good work in there. I try. Well, Link, here we are. 
Looks like this is where the real work starts. Best of luck. Nice job cutting off the water flow from this divine beast. Show the enemy no fear. I'll see you back at Zor's domain. Farewell. Alright, fish boyfriend, I'll finish the job. <laughs> Registering horses. Hi, Jess is still out in the wild. Travel gate registered to map. Wow. Now I can come here whenever I want. Here. Well, while the dungeon's I open. Say, but I am so happy to see that this day has finally arrived. Now, Ruta can be free of Ganon's control. You'll need a map to prevent you from getting lost. The guidance stone there contains the information that you will need. Here we go. And there's my map. She can stay slate authenticated to ceiling map of Divine Beast. So, and like I said, I think I said maybe my first stream of this game, I never played Skyward Sword. Um, so I don't have a whole lot of knowledge about that game. Um, I have kind of left myself in the dark, just in case I ever do decide to go back and play it. Um... But I do like how they have these little, like, mini-games to kind of get into the dungeon. I thought that was kind of a neat little thing, and I don't necessarily know if that's new for this game or if that was in Skyward Sword. In the map of the Divine Beast. Thank you, you Mifa. You several glowing points on your map which represent the terminals that control Ruta. Take Ruta back by activating all of the terminals. Be careful. Okay. Um, so, but I like that. I like that little aspect that you have these little fights and it kind of gets you, lets you know more about the, uh, the boss before you go in. Or not the boss, but the, the divine beast itself. Here she go. One terminal. There are four terminals remaining. Don't give up. Okay. I can't do anything down there. I have to go up there.
Now, okay, guardian sword. I was gonna say, I want that guardian sword. Especially because mine's breaking. I can't drop anything because I'm in the water. that for now. You spit out enemies. That lets me know where the thing is, too. I hit him on the outside, and now I don't know if he can get back in. Goodbye. This one. I think I need to not do this. Uh, okay. Need to get in there. Well, let's do that first. Get me some rupees. Okay. <laughs> Forgot that I can control the trunk for a second. A little bit more. That's the ticket. Now that ball opens the door, if I remember. So I do that. Activate this. There are three terminals remaining. You can do it. I'd have to wait for another pass around if I wanted to get that chest! Which, I mean, I'm in no hurry. Let's do it. Jump. And then I will use the other waterway to climb up. Core. 
So now I want to freeze this. Stop that. Now if I run up and swing down to that, then I'll be able to jump onto the other gear and move up. Like this? No! I wanted that. Any food? We've done a little cooking, yeah. Waterfall. Now, if that's the case, can I go down and get my spear? Where is it? Did it really despawn? That's so tragic. <sighs> Bummer. Actually, let's get that chest too, huh? them ancients. We're up. Good. I need... Oh. Oh, did I... Did I already pick it up? No. <laughs> okay. Um... Let's... I mean, the Traveler Sword is trusty, but not necessarily gonna help us when it comes to boss fight. Knight's Halberd can do some work. Okay. I remember so little about this um, dungeon. I mean, I've only played through it once, and um, dungeons aren't necessarily all that long but um I've never been wonderful at, at doing puzzles so can I get on this thing what happens if I do like oh did you look at that I didn't know I could get, actually get on this. Oh, no, I didn't know I could get on this thing. Well, that's fun. But I need it to go down. <laughs> that eyeball there needs to die. There's a um, terminal behind that. So, if I hang out here and start tipping it back up, then I should be able to jump back over there. 
glide. there's a terminal on the back side there so if I lower it down now I need to be a little bit careful now There we go. There are two terminals remaining. You're nearly there. Let's take a look at where the So one terminal is back in that cog that I had earlier. Oh, it's probably like in one of the cogs there. Okay, so let's head down here, I guess. If I want that chest, I have to kill the eyeball. There's the eyeball. Nice. Ice arrows? Interesting. Alright, now... This... I believe I need to ri raise up the uh, the fire there. Where's the eye? And not stasis. Uh, which way are we going here? Bring it up. And then I think the water comes down on it. We are nearly there, everybody. Nearly to the point where I will die horrendously and make a fool out of myself and you'll all laugh. But we're nearly there. Just one terminal remaining. I have faith in you. Thank you, Mifa. Glad somebody does. So the last one should be... One that I could have gotten earlier. Right there. Now. I need to be able to activate it, though. I need to freeze it, like, right away again. Okay. 
Like that. There we go. That's all of them. Oh boy. You activated all the terminals. Now you can start the main control unit. There should be a new glowing mark on your map. Head there. Be careful not to let your guard down. All right. It's boss time, everybody. However, I kind of want some more food. What am I looking at in terms of inventory? Yeah, let's go cook some food. Real quick. Man, Yellow Gummy Bear, Mifa's. Mifa's my second favorite character in this game so far. I kind of wish Mifa was the one that was, like, leading me to the to the middle of a Calamity Ganon and, and not Zelda. From what we've seen so far of those videos, Zelda's not, like, the greatest person ever here. Um, cooking, cooking, cooking. Kakariko has cooking. I mean, a lot of places have cooking, but I know exactly where to go here. I saw some post on Tumblr about some dude, like, or some player lit a bear on fire in this game. I didn't know you could do that. That sounds pretty funny. I mean, I suppose I shouldn't have thought that that's not possible, because you can light basically anything on fire in this game. As I found out with my, uh, baked apples. Alright. Oh, it's raining, though. That's nice. Thanks, game. Well, if we're gonna be... Yeah, let's Ooh. stay overnight. Whoa. Soft bed, because we're worth it. Hmm. Ooh. Morning. Yeah, and then they rode the bear, and like everywhere they rode, like shit lit on fire. Ooh. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Things like that make me really, like, really happy about this game. Because that's just really funny to me. Do I not have a torch. This is a wonderful day. Somebody give me a torch, please. I need to transport fire. Uh, or I could flint it, I guess. Um, flint. This is good. I don't have flint. Okay. Alright, we're gonna do this. Can I light my shield on fire? I should be able to. No. I'm lighting on fire. Slow. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait. I did it, kinda. Shield. Yes. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Uh, okay. I need to light this. You know what? Screw this. Screw Kakariko Village. We're going to a horse farm. This is like the stupidest fail ever, but... Whatever. Man, game, I just got done praising you for being awesome, and then... I can't start a goddamn fire because of my own stupidity. I don't have a torch with me, and I'd light my shield on fire, and it breaks. Thanks, game. <laughs> that was really dumb. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been a long day. 
Oh fuck, and it's raining here too! Well, is there anywhere else I can go to? I just need to fucking cook food. How about this place? Are you raining? It's like every time I need it not to rain, it rains. And every time I need it to rain, there's no rain to be found. This game's weather. No rain. Frickin' right. Let's cook. Quick, before it starts raining. What's up, Beetle? Goodbye, Beetle. Yeah, I know. I'm taking these. As I always do. Alright. Cooking. Cooking with me. Peppers. We don't need that much because, I mean, we don't have that much health right now. So, if I just did some meat, some pepper, uh, we can do some herbs. Let's see what that gives me. Way too much than I need. Um, so, let's just, what if we just did some meat and some herbs? We won't get the, the, that's like perfect. Maybe even a little less. So what if I did this meat and an herb? Perfect. That's what I need. Okay. Let's let's do more of... Well, I'm almost out now. So let's do two meats. Perfect. Two meats. Can I do one meat and one bird? Hell yeah. Meat skewers all the day. Perfect. Alright, we got a lot now. We have a lot to keep us going. Uh, stamina. Vitality. Greatly restore stamina. I think we're good. I think we should be alright. Our weapon situation looks... Okay. We have some, some heavy hitters. I mean, we got a nice broadsword. The two... The halberd and the spear. Arrows... I have ten of the ice arrows now, and one of the shock. If we can buy a few more arrows... There's no people in here to buy from. Okay. Let's just go. Let's pray for the best. Uh, we're gonna do it. First try, everybody. This is gonna be my shining moment where I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. I remember dying a lot in this fight. Um, Boss fights in this game are broken down into stages, kind of. So you have multiple different stages. And I usually die in the second one. Oh, I'm leaving. I hit the wrong button. Hi, Australia. <laughs> Where did I warp to? I hit a button and warped away, and I'm not... That's good. That's good. I wanted to be here. Alright. I won't hit any buttons this time, I promise. I won't warp away randomly.
Um, after we finish this, I think we're going to have a little bit of time to position ourselves towards another dungeon. Is there any place um, people would like to go? Basically, if you hit the... Ex I can't look at my map. If you look at the overall map, it's like top, top right, top left, bottom left, bottom right. Um, we're doing kind of like bottom to middle right right now. So if you guys want to see another one, uh, let me know where I should head next. We would have a uh, top right, top left, and bottom left as the next places we could go to. Let's make sure everything is equipped that we want. We're going to use this sword until it breaks. I've been lightning resist. I need a shield. <laughs> Where's my sword? My sword broke. Hmm. Well, there goes a chunk of my health. So when he stabs forward, that's my time to strike. And I can get two attacks in. He's gonna stab again. Alright, so we're in phase two. So I should be able to break that there. Oh, I died. <laughs> okay. I mean, I can shoot him with arrows. I don't have a whole lot, but I can do that. Um, I remember last time I ended up, like, throwing weapons at him for a while. Uh, right. So I'm back here. Weapon check. Correct. Correct. Ah, when he's gonna appear, like, right here. Careful, that spear has a long reach. Okay. Safe. Run 
away. We're good. Alright, phase two again. Phase one is not super challenging for me. Phase two just wrecks my shit. Alright, room gets flooded. Gotta get to one of the blocks. Not much room to open. Oh, he's right over me. And there goes most of my health. So I'm going to eat. We cooked a lot for a reason. This is first. So now, I mean, I, now I can shoot back if I want to. Like that. Get out. Didn't mean to get into the water with him. And now I'm stuck behind him! Perfect! So now he's going to go to a different place. Uh, let's... That didn't do a whole lot. We're doing a little bit to him. And he throws the spear. Come on, buddy. So that was me throwing a weapon at him instead of throwing a... Um... Instead of me throwing an arrow. So let's pick a big one this time. Yeah, let's pick this here. See if we can get them all. Nope. We almost got them, folks. Oh, right. I don't want to throw that. That. Where are you going? You guys know that I hopped over that like a boss. Fall down already! <laughs> now. Hmm. 
<laughs> there we go. With a little bit of flair at the end there. More hearts! More hearts for me! And here's a cutscene. Once you activate the main control unit, we'll not be able to re-enter the interior of the Divine Beast. That's fine. you once again. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept Mipha's grace. Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time, my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda. Dat white screen.
a way to be useful to Link and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. And I am conveniently warped back to Zora's domain. And I have Mifa's Grace. Mifa's Grace is a wonderful ability, and that's why I wanted to get it first. If I ever take fatal damage, I get resurrected to full health and get bonus hearts. You did well to survive your trial. I have been awaiting your return. The violent downpour has disappeared. As has the threat to Zora's domain. It is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. You've appeased the divine beast Varuta and thusly saved Zora's domain. We are all truly grateful. What you did for us is more than we could have ex ever expected of you. Link, I must sincerely apologize for my harsh treatment of you. That whole time, you were thinking of Hyrule's and Lady Mifa's well-being, just like the rest of us. All of our members of our council humbly fold back our fins in gratitude. Our fins back in gratitude, along with the rest of our people. That's creepy. Perhaps the older generation of Zora, myself included, misunderstood Hylians after all. It would seem so. That said, I would be overjoyed if you find it in your heart to forgive me. If not now, then perhaps one day. Link, I must reward your efforts. Now then, I implore you to collect the treasure inside the chest over there. It was cherished by Mipha, a memento of sorts. I would like you to have it as a token of our friendship. Please take good care of it. Mm. By the way, Link, I see you are without your trusty blade, the sword that seals the darkness. Mm. Did you perhaps lose it when you lost your memory? Perhaps. What? Is it truly lost? That is a legendary blade that you, the Hylian champion, can wield. It is no doubt resting somewhere in Hyrule even now, waiting for its master to return. Link, all of the Zora thank you from the depths of our hearts for your heroic and selfless work. And you too, Sidon. Hey, buddy. As your father, I am proud of you for fighting the Divine Beast alongside Link. You have grown much recently. I know that I know you will be a worthy heir when your time comes. Father, I, I thank you. The heavy rains have stopped, and the Divine Beast is our ally once again. How glorious. Truly splendid. <laughs> Link, this is wonderful. He's pledging his love to me. Link, thank you so much. Truly, I could never thank you enough. 
You helped save our home from vanishing away. This calls for a top-tier expression of gratitude. Zo, zo, ra, 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 with all my heart, thank you. Did it. Okay. So let's take this item. It is... Mipha's Spear. And it sucks, because this can break. What's up, buddy? Oh, see ya! Alright. You know what? You know what's... what's overdue? A re... a... Being reunited with our beloved Hi Jess. Um, and you said, Australia, you said you wanted to go top left, right? So we're going up here. Oh boy. I was hoping you'd say bottom left because um, I think that Jess would appreciate bottom left quite a bit. Jess would get a kick out of bottom left. But, I left it up to you guys. Alright. Horse. Hey, beetle. Welcome, welcome to our fine stable. Do you want to register a horse? Take one out for a ride? How can I help? I want to take my horse. Which horse do you want to take out? Oh, we have a max bond with High Jess. Oh, we want High Jess. Or maybe we should get a new horse. Should we get a new horse, guys? I mean, we could get a new horse. I mean, High Jess is great, but we could get a new one. In case our beloved High Jess ever, you know, eats dirt. Alright, so we might need to do a couple towers to get some maps here or there. Basically, we want to get to the uh, northern section. Just saying, we might need another horse at some point, guys. I mean, one horse this whole time. We're we're trying to we're gonna have to be like extremely lucky for that to go through. Oh Jesus! We don't want that guy. Yeah. 
Alright. How about we go for this tower here? Now, this tower, if I remember correctly, is friggin' dangerous. Yeah, this is the tower I'm thinking of. So... Hi Jess, this is not a place for you. we go. Uh, let's put on our climbing clothes. We have on our climbing clothes. Oh boy. Whew. Okay. We need to get up there really fast. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh my gosh. Alright. Wish I had more stamina to do this. have this last bit. I think we made it, folks. Yeah, yeah, look at me, Bear. We would never abandon High Jess. We just, like, you know, if we could have some other horse to kind of be there in case something bad happens, or maybe save High Jess if we can sacrifice someone else? I don't know, I'm just saying, if, if we have one horse and it dies, we have no horse. Unless we resurrect High Jess somehow and make a zombie horse. Alright, so we got our area. This should be Central Hyrule. Bum, 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 There it is. Okay, we can check out the area. Is that something? Let's go there next. Hi Jess is in those woods, I think. Come, Hi Jess, we must go. There it is.
Need some drumsticks. Crap. Oh, there's a lot of stuff right over there. I don't know if I want to deal with that right now. Oh, gosh. Do you remember when I talked about not having a horse anymore? of shit like this happening. Yeah. Whew. I think we did it, guys. I think we made it out with High Jess intact. But we're taking the wrong road here. This isn't good. We need to take that road. Kinda, I think. What the hell is that? Uh, I mean, maybe if we head up this way... But still. Oh, this is dangerous no matter which way you go. We could get across that right there. Can I just get up there? Let's see. Hi Jess, how much of a Skyrim horse are you? Not not much. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh, interesting. Oh boy, oh boy! Hi, Jess! No! Oh no! You guys, that didn't look good! Oh! Hi, Jess! You all right there, pal? Well, you guys. Um. Oh, what the fuck is now? Is that just you? Whatever. You guys, that? That, that might have been the end. For, oh god, and it's a fucking blood moon as well? You guys, that... That might have been it for High Jez. Maybe not. I mean, maybe not. It's High Jez is still on the map, so I mean... Potentially could see... Her get out of that. Let's see if we can find another stable and call her back. Oh, uh, that was really unfortunate. I just mentioned that, too. Man, I have the worst timing. Oh, why don't you mention how shitty it would be to lose your goddamn horse? Okay. Look, now it's shitty. I lost my goddamn horse. Now it's a fucking blood moon. Thanks, moon. Yeah. The blood moon means that all the monsters that I've ever killed in this game come back to life. Except for bosses. Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna save this shrine, I think, for later. If I can, I might not be able to here. This is an interesting climb. Link, you're, you're like, almost upside down completely. Um, I want to get the, uh, tower if I can first, and then we'll come back for the shrine, because... Yeah, okay. Honestly, I want a fucking horse stable so we can get Hyjess out of there. Man, Hyjess lit on fire and then ran over, like, spikes and shit, like... Man, that was, that was my bad. <gasps> oh, you guys go fuck yourselves! Do I have a, like, a better weapon that I could use here? Yeah, let's use this. You. I see those horses. We could use those horses. Dragon. I don't know if we've seen dragons yet. I don't think we have seen a dragon yet in our game here. So, well, I saw it. That confirms it, guys. There's dragons in Breath of the Wild. Place. No, it's not. That's good. Good game. This one. Now, I. Like. Didn't do this one the way they wanted me to do this one, I don't think. Hey, guys. Oh, ow. So I'm gonna... There's a thunderstorm over there. It's really high up for me. God damn it. Okay. Well, Mipha's Grace. We now know what Mipha's Grace looks like, everyone. God damn. I might not be able to do this. Did it really go through that? Um, do I not have a bow right now? I don't. That's good, too. I died. Okay. So, the problem that I have... I might skip this tower for now, because the problem that I'm running into is that these guys take a lot of hits, and I don't have a lot of space to deal with them, nor do I have a lot of arrows. Yeah, Australia, I might need some extra stamina, but I wonder how I'd get that. Oh, wait, maybe, like, actually putting, you know, time to getting the dumb things to give myself stamina and not give myself hearts like you wanted me to? Oh, wait, what? What's that about? I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Hmm. 
Not not bitter. Let's just get a horse and go north. Where were they? They were down here, yeah? Do I not get a, uh... I don't get a, um... Little tombstone for the fact that I died just now? Oh. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, gosh. I guess you're my horse for now. You're not the greatest horse ever. Okay. Now, I do want you. You're you're cool looking. Hi, horse. Horse, I just... Are you really coming back for more, man? <laughs> wow, all of you horses kind of suck. That come from the riders, huh? Spear does no damage at all. I don't want to use Mifas. Alright, let's sneak up on some horses. Oh, you're the horse I wanted! You're also running away from me. That's good. Thanks, horse. Horses, why are you walking away from me? Stop! Okay, good. We're being all stealthy. I think Hyjess is a black and white one, so I kind of want the brown one. I hate you, brown horse. I hate you, other horses! Alright, whatever. I'll take either one of these. Unless nobody likes me. Do the horses not like me? Am I being too loud? Should I take off my stuff? I'm being just as loud. I know that this doesn't really help at all. Uh, it's just funny to me. I'm gonna get ya! Whatever. Whatever! I don't want you horses anyway. I'll steal one of these guys' horses. And be done with it. Means I have to put my my stuff back on. Huh? Horse. 
You're temporary, but you'll do. Double kill. Heading up north, gonna go to the north. I want that bird meat. Can I double kill bird meat? Nope. Why are you just like some lone macabre and just wandering around? That's interesting. All right. Here, I think. Need a good vantage point. Need to Assassin's Creed my situation. Horses, guys. Did you? How did? Really? What if I jump on you from up here? Could this be stupid enough to work? Ow. I hurt myself. Oh god! I could probably jump down there again. Alright. <laughs> it's because I'm stubborn. Where do you where do you go? Oh eh? Eh? There you are, horse. Okay. Well, let's eat in case I fall again and almost kill myself. Alright, here we go. Ready? Oh! You guys. You guys. Can I have that, please? Can you give that to me? Because that was fucking brilliant. Now, we need to find a stable. That's where we're going to end tonight. We're going to end finding a stable. So that this horse can stay our friend. Yeah. 
So, while I'm finding a stable, guys, what are we going to name this horse? Is there a consensus, or are we all just going to... like a tough boy but how tough are you tough enough to challenge me to a race i really don't feel like it right now no what a letdown i thought i'd finally met a tough boy with some real potential guess i thought wrong yeah you know i we would race you but i got this horse that i need to take to a stable and if i race you i'm gonna lose the horse so like yeah, maybe later buddy I'm just following these roads until I find a stupid goddamn stable. I honestly don't remember where it is over here. This horse and I are going through some things, you know, like... There's something shining over there, horse. Let's go check that out. Horse, what this? Oh, horse, it's a memory! No, it's not. It's one of these things. Horse! I'm gonna check and see if I can see a stable. I didn't see it, so let's let's head up to the top of the mountain. I don't want you to run away on me, buddy. I feel like we're going all the way up to the top of this mountain and there's going to be nothing here. Oh, there's a there's a little dude here and that's it. <laughs> you found me! Bye bye! Alright, let's see here. Well. That's where we need to go. Uh, oh, there you are. What are you doing down there? Don't do that. It's dangerous. Okay. Well, let's... We are pushing time here, guys, but let's head back down. Can you come down here? <laughs> no, you do not want to go down that way, do you? Okay. Okay, just thought maybe we'd take a shortcut, but... Ooh, you jumped that, no problem. Good boy. Or girl. I don't know what you are. Haven't checked. Little nervous. First impressions are very important. Not a thing to do on your first impression. Running over a fox is a good thing to do, though. Alright. 
Well, let's go off the beaten path a little bit and see what's down here. It's alright, buddy. Spaghetti burrito is nice, but I think it would be too long. Gretchen? The internet. We could name him Tough Boy after that dude we just saw. I think this is an enemy encampment, so we have to be a little careful. No! It's a stable! <gasps> we did it, guys. We did it. Look what we found. I'm RP walking, everybody. Oh. oh, looks like you caught yourself a new steed. Do you want to register it? Yeah. Gotcha. You sure is this one? This is a good horse, guys. Not a problem. We charge a registration fee to help support our conservation efforts. Fee, it gets you a locally made saddle and bridle for your horse. The fee is 20 rupees. Is that okay? Alright, guys. Vote. You get one vote. Uh, I, I like uh, Tough Boy. However spelling, I don't really care. Uh, tough Boy or... What else we got here? Ger... Gerhard? Gerhard kind of makes me think of Gerard, which makes me think of Gerard Way. Um, tough Boy or Gretchen? That's your votes. Will it fit? Yeah. Tough boy fits. Gretchen fits too. Alright, we got one vote for tough boy, one vote for Gretchen. Whoever votes next. That's who. That's who I'm picking. Can't be Jess or Australia. Whoever's... Um, Yellow Gummy Bear, you want to throw in your, your vote? Gretchen or Tough Boy? Tough Gret. Okay. Gretchen? Gretchen? 
Gretchen. Mm. Are you sure you want to name the this horse Gretchen? Yes. Your registration is complete. Would you like to take your new horse with you? No, because we have to check and see if our other horse is okay. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, can I take a horse out? Welcome to our fine stable. Do you want to register a horse? Take one for a ride. Take horse. Hmm? You guys? You guys? Oh. Hi, Jess is okay. Oh. And I think that's where we're going to end, everybody. We got... Hi, Jess is okay. Yeah. We're going to board Hi, Jess for now. Let's let's actually let's take a look. Take a horse. Look at that. We got Hi Jess and we got Gretchen. Two wonderful looking horses. One's a cow and the other's a horse. Nailed it. Amazing. All right, guys. It's nine o'clock. We're done for tonight. Uh, tomorrow Jess will be here and we'll play some Dangan Rampers. V three. Continue through chapter three. Maybe get to see a murder. Maybe do some... Probably do some free times, at least. Um, and then... See where it goes from there. We're officially on vacation. We're going to try to set up some bonus streams. Schedules are conflicting a little bit, so... Uh, we'll see what we can do. But, um... Try to do some bonus streams of Danganronpa if we can. Um, I don't know if there's enough interest... Um, in Zelda to do more bonus streams, but if anything, we'll be continuing our Thursday nights, uh, with Zelda. So, um, that's it. Everybody, thanks for coming out and watching, and have a great rest of your day. Thanks a bunch. Take care.